Hello students and family members and welcome to Mr. Panza's math video focused on today's question. How do we understand the value and worth of numbers? We're talking about place value. I'm going to start with some vocabulary words. The first thing is we need to understand what a digit is. To define digit, it's one number that stands in one place value column. In other words, some of the characteristics that a digit has is one number normally inside another set of numbers or digits. One digit is allowed in each place value. For example, the full number 592 has three digits inside of it, 5, 9, and 2. Each individual number in its own place value, the 2 and the 1s, the 9 and the 10s, and the 5 and the 100s are each digits. However, a non-example is the fact that 592 altogether is not a digit. Think of fingers. Each individual finger that we have has its own individual name, just like the place value chart. In the place value chart, we give them specific numerical names. Our fingers, we give them finger names. For example, this is our thumb, and this is our index finger. Those individual digits on our fingers can be seen as the same way as individual digits in numbers. The next vocabulary word is value. Anything that has value or is valuable is worth something. Some characteristics would be things that cost money or an experience that you can feel. Examples of things that are valuable would be money, cars, stuff, or love. Love is obviously something you can feel. The other things you can either purchase or feel as well. A non-example of things with value would be anything that would be considered worthless or has no worth. For example, trash or garbage. One example I like to provide for the students is the fact that nobody would take money, crumble it up, and throw it in the trash can because it has value and it is not worthless. A couple other things that we need to be aware of is the fact that numbers can be represented in many different ways. For example, you can describe Mr. Pan's in many different ways. You can call me a husband, you can call me a son, and you can also call me a father. Numbers can be described as standard form, written form, and expanded form versions. Let's define each. Standard form is the number written all together. It's just the usual standard number. This is the regular way of writing a number, and each digit has one place value. For example, in the number 3,592 and 3 hundredths, the 2 is in the 1s, the 9 in the 10s, the 5 in the 100s, and the 3 in the 1000s. Each has its own different value. Each digit makes up the full number 3,592 and 3 tenths. Standard form looks like this. Written word form is when you take the standard form number and you write it out in words. The same number written in words instead of numbers. The strategy we will use to learn how to write written word form is saying the number out loud and then writing exactly what you say. For example, if I see the number the 546, three digits, 5, 4, and 6 put together, we say that as 546. So however I say it, that's how I'm going to write it. The same goes for a number like 2, 6, and 2. When I put the digits 2, 6, and 2 together, we say that is 262. So whatever I would say, that's how I would write it. The final way we can write numbers is expanded form, a way to write numbers showing the value of each individual digit by stretching the number out. To expand means to make something bigger. This form is used to show that you can understand the value of each digit within the bigger number. Base 10 can show you the amount in the base 10 blocks. The reason we use base 10 is because in the US we use the base 10 system and that really comes to life when you start thinking about place value because each place value column if I started with ones, tens, hundred, to the right would be 10 times larger than the previous place value that we were just discussing. In other words, the tens place value is 10 times larger than the ones and the hundreds place value is of course 10 times larger than the tens. 
Understanding these vocabulary words are going to help you understand the value and worth of numbers. Be sure to check out all of the videos here on the Place Value site so that you can continue to learn more about Place Value as we move throughout the unit. Thanks for stopping by.